Well, in just 11 minutes, 4 seconds, and 77 thousandths, Derek Backus went out from the lead from the pole position, never relinquished it, but had to hold off a hard-charging former Dion Parrish Memorial champion at the end of this race. And we want to know, D-Rock, how wore out are you and how happy are you to pick up the win in the Dion Parrish Memorial? Oh, I'm extremely happy. Um, I never expected this. Um, I struggled practicing here. Um, you know, never really thought I had a shot. Um, I'm not even sure if I've ran here before. Um, I knew some of the guys that had some experience here were going to be faster. Um, I found a good a good qualifying car, and I practiced with some fuel for a while, um, and I went uh, on the safe side with the setup, took a bunch of gear out, wanted to protect the tires, and um, I could just ride around early on, and it was really free um, or really neutral. Um, I, I liked it, and then... I saw the gap start to close up, so I started pushing a little more, and then the uh, right front got a little hot, <clears throat> and then it just started, uh, it wasn't awful, it just wasn't as neutral as I needed it, and I didn't honestly know until the end who was in second, but I knew they were coming, uh, and then at the end, I was just, they were all over me, um, you know, it ended up being Keith, I didn't even know that, I didn't have a chance to look over and scroll, um, you know, I just backed the corners way down. Um, and just tried to ride around the bottom, just protect my line. Um, he was definitely all over me. He was way faster than me at the end. Well, when it comes down to it, uh, Derek, it, this track, uh, a, a tight, smaller bull ring, the fastest three eighths mile in the world. Um, it's something that generally you seem to do a little bit better at the bigger tracks. How much of an adaptation was it for you here to get this Alagresso chassis rolling on on the short tracks uh it, it usually sit the longer tracks seem to suit your style so well, i actually like you know with my teammate kyle this is what i describe as one of those technical tracks and, and i like them because they're really challenging uh the problem is you, you really got to have the time to uh you know to work on your setup make sure you've got something that's going to turn but also not break the wheels loose and something that's going to last uh, 62 laps doesn't seem like a lot here, but you're, the momentum is, and the speeds are so quick here that you're really you're chewing up your tires. Um, and overall, I did a good job of protecting mine. Uh, I just needed uh, a little more right front in the end, uh, you know, to make the car neutral the whole way through. Uh, you know, to win one of these memorial races, you know, especially Dion's, it's, it's huge. You know, coming into today, I never would have imagined I even had a shot to win this. So yeah, I'm really excited. Well, Derek, uh, certainly well-deserved win for you here at the Dion Parish Memorial. Congratulations. This is a big one for you, man. Sure is. Thanks, Bobby. Well, let's talk to the guy that uh, <laughs> he's won this race before, but never in our factor. was a NASCAR Heat champion in the Dion Parish Memorial, and tonight he comes from fifth starting position up through the field, had a heck of a race with Rob Warren, and comes home in second place. Keith, how much more did you need to get around the 61? Oh, thanks, Bobby. Um, uh, maybe more laps. Um, more more laps, or if, you know, if I could have rode around there in second, um, first part of the race, you know, behind him, then I, I think sooner or later I could have got him. Once in a while I'd see him push, especially there in last 15 laps or so uh he had no problem you know back the corner up real easy on throttle but what's while I, yeah, I could see a push in the one and i kind of had to be right there on him whenever that happened and uh then he started pulling pulling away from me and rob me and rob had a heck of a battle there um and we're able to go side by side for second place around this place and never even touch so uh just so much respect and fun, you know, racing Rob. But I got around Rob, and then I was able to run down Derek, you know, pretty quickly. But, um, you know, he still had a, a, a good car. Uh, 
there at the end. So congrats to him. I think that's his first one. So that's that's a big deal. But I think uh, all in all, you know, I had a blast. I love this race. It's uh, not only real important supers. It's it's one of the ones that uh, is important to me too. Um, unfortunately, we were there that day, and uh, I wasn't able to know Dion on a personal level, level like uh, uh, you know you and uh, some of the other guys there, you know, and in real life back in the day, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely a tragedy. So I, I think Dion, you know, he looking down watching this, I, I think he'd have a pretty good smile on his face. Uh, this league has, uh, did this and, and did what we do in, in his name. And, uh, so hope we honored him pretty well tonight. Uh, another shout out I got to give is, uh, my dad, Jim Mayfield, he turned 77 today. So happy birthday to him. And well, I shouldn't have said his age, maybe because he watches this, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's funny though, Keith, you got Hey, you know what? He's your dad. He helps you with setups and, uh, helps the CPR motorsports team and real super modified racer, uh, back in the day and a car owner. So, uh, he, he maybe shouldn't have said his age, but certainly off, awfully cool to give him a shout out here on the show. Yeah. Happy birthday there, dad. And, uh, uh, thanks to supers, uh, first to finish race servers and, uh, Kevin again with breeze graphics. Uh, these, these look so, so good. So had fun on all, all had fun, really wanted this one tonight. Um, you know, being his birthday and all just really, really wanted this one tonight, but, uh, we'll, we'll take a second. We're happy with that and we'll go get them next week. Keith Powell, your second place finisher here, reeling in your winner, Derek Backus at the end of the race and doing a great job. Uh, congratulations to him. Your third place finisher uh, was a defending winner of this race and had a heck of a battle throughout the, the event with uh, several drivers, including Keith Powell and initially Derek Backus. And then Steve Callahan got into the mix. Uh, Rob, you had plenty of action all the way around you tonight, but it looked like the first to finish race servers uh, roadster wasn't quite handling the way you needed it to to get up to Derek Backus and challenge for the win. What exactly was going on out there? What a fun run. Uh, what a fun race. Uh, challenging. Uh, green to checkered. I don't think that happened last year. I didn't watch the replay. Actually, I did, but I don't remember the replay. Um, my car got tight. My setup was tight, 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 tight. And, uh, you know, the first three, four laps, I was just content to follow Derek. Uh, went into turn one. Um, I think I got the jump on the start but I didn't know if I was clear. So I, I rode around one and two a little bit on the high side, came down the back stretch with all that momentum, went into three and four a little bit, uh, a lane and a half up, came out of that corner with all the uh, momentum I could handle. And there was the front end of the 61. And I'm like, oh, yep, Derek's here. Derek's here. Let me see if I can duck behind him and follow him. And I could not. Uh, last year's setup is not the racing setup for this year. That tells you how good the drivers are and how much they are preparing for the races this year. Uh, the Dion Parish Memorial, it's something everybody wants. It's something everybody needs in their bucket list. And, uh, and man, uh, <laughs> D-Rock got one. He pounded one out tonight. And then uh, I went into turn one, stupid, so hot and heavy, and I saw the 41 come under me, and I'm like, well, there's his nose, I'll stay up in this groove, and I will pound it coming out of turn two, and I had a great run out of turn two. And the momentum down the back stretch was amazing, and then I had a backer down to get into turn three, and we raced side by side for a couple of laps, and and it's, uh, you know, no matter where you finish, if you can have a race side by side with a competitor, whether it's for the points championship or this race or seventh place, even that's, that's what makes this amazing. And Keith and I had a great run, uh, lap and a half, two laps, three laps. I don't know how long those 62 laps went by in a blink. So, uh, 
congrats to your winner, Derek Backus. That was an amazing run. Uh, Keith Powell finishing in second. He was chewing on his gap after he got done spitting me out. He went by me finally and just uh, just dusted me. And then, uh, you know, all the racers were having a green to checkered finish on a 62-lap perseverance race. That's amazing. Uh, real quick, I got to say thanks to KT for all his broadcasting work. Cindy Lou Who, since it's that time of year, Cindy Lou Who with Icings on Top and uh, Breeze Graphics, you know, and, and you, Bob, for all you do for the league. What a fun race. Uh, that puts the fun back into the racing season, you know. Uh, tight points battle up front, tight racing on the track, but respect on the track. And that's what's most important. Everyone's got room. Steve Callahan came right up behind me, and uh, I, I never felt a, a whisper of a bump. But I know I was pushing so bad at that point in time. He could have he could have nudged me ever so slightly, and I'd have been you know three three lanes up, controllable three lanes up, but he would have easily gotten that third place finish. So uh, thanks to Steve for that fun run, thanks to Keith for that really fun challenging run, and uh, Derek, slow the heck down. <laughs> yeah, well, nobody was slowing down tonight. Very fast race, eleven minutes. Four seconds to get it all said and done. A guy that was very fast as well started next to his teammate. Took him a little bit longer to get to the front or further up the pack than what his teammate did. Steady Steve Callahan. How satisfied are you with a uh, fine fourth place finish here tonight in the Dion Parish Memorial? You had some great races out there with several different drivers. Oh, I'm I'm very satisfied. I had a blast tonight. Uh, you know, big congrats to, to Derek. It's awesome. Lead, you know, green to checkered. That, that's cool. And uh, and uh, Keith and Rob, you know, great job. Um, no, uh, at the start, man, I, I had a great race with Nelson for a while. And uh, I was, uh, you know, we were racing side by side, you know, lap after lap, it seemed like. And finally able to break three, break free, and then uh, kind of ran you guys down a little bit up there. And, uh you know, we got got in the mix, so yeah, it was it was fun, man. I was racing, seemed like racing everybody, you know, from start to finish. So yeah, that's uh, like Rob said, that's all you can ask for. The good night of racing, you know, nice. Uh, you know, the track was the track was awesome. Two grooves of racing, everybody giving each other room, racing hard and racing clean, and it's a, a really great show. Steve, congratulations on a fine fourth place run here tonight. A former winner of this race, Steve Callahan out of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, comes home in fourth. Fifth place goes to Bob Gangwer. Sixth place goes to the rookie, Brad Keezer. And since we didn't really get to talk to him last week after his win because of technical difficulties, let's see if we can get a word with him now here uh, at the end of the night uh, before we close things out. Brad Keezer, uh, uh, not a great run. An eighth from starting position eighth to a sixth place, but able to challenge and, and basically see second place within your grasp with about 10 laps to go. Uh, first of all, good run at a tough joint for sure. Uh, what's your thoughts as you leave Kalamazoo Speedway here tonight? Nah, I was actually pretty happy with the run overall. You know, I don't think anybody forced anything, and you know, it's a tough track to pass. So picking up any spots here, I think, is an accomplishment. You know, obviously, credit there to, uh, to Keith, who was flying through the field. That was impressive going from back there up to second place. And congratulations to Derek. It was a great run for him. But it was a fun race. Great to see it clean and excited to see what we can do next week. Well, we're glad that uh, you were here again this week. Last week, uh, picking up your first Supers win at Bristol Motor Speedway. Uh, it's just sim racing, but has it, has it wore off yet? Oh, yeah, but it wore off, but it's still fun. You know, bragging a little bit with, uh, you know, Rob, trying to chase him. Yeah, I would have liked to either break up his uh, win last week as well, but it was still a great fun run in a track that I really like. Uh, uh, nice run for you here tonight at Kalamazoo Speedway. Uh, Brad, uh, glad to have you in and uh, running for Rookie of the Year. The icing's on top, Rookie of the Year award here this year in Supers competition. Brad Keezer, ladies and gentlemen, out of Liverpool, New York. And uh, 
having some fun out there running up through the pack and watching the rest of the battle going on. As you see on your screen now, uh, Brad running behind that great battle between Steve Callahan and Nelson Rodriguez. We hope you enjoyed all of the post-race activities. Don't forget, if you want to be like Brad and run for the icings on top, rookie of the year in the Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series, you need to go to supers.net and click the uh, Join tab. You can learn more about Supers. You can become a Supers member, and uh, we welcome you as uh, much as we do anybody uh, around. And uh, whether you fam are familiar with Super Modifieds or not, uh, we'll teach you a little bit more about them. And if you just want to learn more about them and not race with us, go to Supers.net, click into the site, and then click the About tab where you can learn about real Super Modifieds. Well, tonight we wrap things up here from the Dion Parish Memorial, and it's just been a very good race, a very fun race. Green to checker, 62 laps at the world's fastest 3.8s at Kalamazoo Speedway, located in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Derek Backus, New Yorker, comes out on top with the win, uh, just .187 seconds ahead of Keith Powell, who is second here tonight. Rob Warren rounds out the podium. Uh, great racing throughout in an 11-minute, four-second race. We'll be back in action next week with the NASCAR Heat Sim Racing Platform. That's right. We still run that 18-year-old game, and we have a great time doing it. And in, uh, next week, it'll be the 15th running of the Supers Christmas Special. Just a 25-lapper for the uh, to end out the season or end out the December month uh, before we go on break for Christmas. And we believe that that's more important to spend time with family than go sim racing in the holidays and uh, encourage all of our members and fans to do the same, to disconnect. But we're going to race one more time in December, and that's coming up next Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And it's the 15th running of the Supers Christmas Special where the winner uh, goes home with a Burgers Smokehouse Ham. So we hope that you could join us for that. Until then, we want to say congratulations again to our winner here tonight. The first time... Dion Parish Memorial Champion, Derek Backus. And we remember Dion Parish, and the best way that you can do that is to make a donation to the Dion Parish Memorial Benevolent Fund for Super Modifieds. All donations go to help injured drivers and their families in times of need. And uh, certainly uh, that Dion Parish Memorial Benevolent Fund has been around for uh, 15 years and uh, has donated thousands of dollars to injured drivers and their families. And uh, whether you race with us or not, you can always make a donation to help others. But we're going to wrap things up here tonight from Kalamazoo Speedway at the Dion Parish Memorial and uh, remind you that you've been watching the Super Modified Ultimate Payment Racing Series on supers.net and on Twitch. Hit that follow button. Help us move towards affiliation uh, with Twitch. And uh, glad that you guys uh, were able to tune in tonight. Welcome to Briggs. Uh, glad uh, he was able to make it in and watch the broadcast, recovering from knee surgery. And Carl Becker as well, uh, recovering from sickness. Uh, both of those guys missed the show tonight. And uh, our elder statesman is super. So heal up quick, guys. We'll see you next week, December 11th, for the 15th Supers Christmas Special. Until then. Keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. God bless America. God bless the Bush family. Well, if you're gonna do it, I say do it with someone you love. Someone you love I've been around a long time In and in and out of love But if you're gonna do it I say do it with someone you love